I like that you're credited as two people here. So this one's a little bit louder. How is this? Great. Cool. We just gotta sit here for a second, because this is... Like, when that synth kicks in, I'm just... I'm so here for it. That's not a synth, that's a guitar. There's some kind of plucked... It's Omnisphere. It doesn't fucking matter what it was. Alright, I just gotta make sure I'm not talking too loud. Okay, that sounds good. That's the synth I was thinking of. That thing's gorgeous. That was a beautiful noise. This is so fucking great, I'm so excited. I know exactly where the fuck we are. so fucking homesick right now. I guess we're going into the fucking woods. <coughs> oh, great word.
Yeah, you and I were just talking about the same word. I l Fuck me, did I just hear a bell? The music is so well-timed to all of this. This is so good. This is so fantastic. Cog whistle, electrical skateboard, Thronezilla. I will post the link to this thing because y'all should be playing this because this is amazing. I'm calling you by name because I can see them. Still locked, right? Uh, so I guess we're gonna turn on the truck. Uh. I'm so happy to hear that I'm having the best time with this. Walk to the payphone, walk to cave, enter cave.
Just don't touch anything. Don't fucking touch anything. This is one of those fucking things. We talked about this years ago. Years ago? No. Yeah. For to quest a simulator when this thing was like you're gonna like initiate instances where you can be killed by the thing. Motherfucker. You know what? I think we're gonna stay in the cave for a hot second. I recognize elements of this, and I'm so excited about it. This is a weird mix of, like, nostalgia, flashbacks, and, like, new experience. This is super beautiful. This is very like river of grass. Not touching fucking anything. not sitting in that fucking rocking chair. Although, I kind of want to sit in the rocking chair, because I feel like when we sat down on the couch in the house on the White House on the Hill, that's when the giant showed up. Like, I'm so torn about that goddamn chair. Fuck it. <sighs> okay. I feel like I'm at home right now, and I'm, like, there's a lot of feels coming off this music. having the best time right now you're probably you're probably having a better time than i am because this is like the culmination of a fuck ton of work
All right, so new theory is we don't touch modern implements. Like, I bet the rotting meat would be safe to touch, although it's just, like, it's fucking swamp babe fodder. But, um, the cell phone and the crowbar were both, like, modern implements. Both caused the bells. So I think the bullets and the metal pole would both set shit off. And I don't want to open doors until I see if they're all different colors or if we're going to loop back to, like, finding another purple door to where we have, like, a jumping system. Or if it's all going to, like, purple to red, red to green, green to blue, blue to purple, and it all, like, kind of, it's like a fast-tracking system. We already did the docks. Yeah, we did the docks. Shore. Cave. Found the glitch. <laughs> music. So that this isn't the death music is actually. Um, so I guess I have to reset in order to like start over. All right, let's fucking restart. I fucking. <sighs> I love that. Okay. All right, we'll pick up the receiver, then we walk to the left, and we walk to the truck. We're gonna turn on the truck, and we're gonna take the keys, and we're gonna go to the gas station, and we're gonna enter the gas station, and we're gonna explore. We're gonna take the flashlight, we're gonna read Kira's note, because we like Jake, Kira. Well, I don't know if we like Jake, but we definitely like Kira and Anna. We're gonna walk outside, we're not gonna pick up that backpack, because it's totally not fucking worth it. We're gonna go back to the payphone, we're gonna walk right, we're gonna enter the cave, we're gonna use the flashlight, we're gonna walk outside. Can we create save states? Wait, no, what, 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 what? No, walk to the cave, get back in the cave, enter the cave. Use the flashlight. God damn it, the batteries are in the backpack. I have to go to the backpack. <sighs> Walk to gas station, follow the path in the woods, continue down the path, search body. That's the first bell. So you have to hit the first bell and the first bell. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so this, you have to see this because it sets the whole thing in motion of the bells and explaining what the voice on the phone talks about the bells. And this. Okay, that's all absolutely necessary. So now... You know what? I want to walk to the corpse and see. Nope. Okay. Uh, payphone. Venture cave. Use flashlight with batteries. Squeeze through hole. I'm curious about something, so I'm sorry, we have to, um, walk down left path, we're gonna walk back to the cave. Okay. Middle path. I love this. 
Oh, by the way, this cemetery, I, the one we're talking about that's on County Line Road, that's where my grandparents are. Which, that's just a complete aside, but if we're thinking of the same cemetery. Found my first glitch. I'm just saying that, like, if this is Tequesta, I don't know anywhere else that I would rather them to be. Well, not there, but, like, you know what I mean. Wow, sorry, that got... I like that the Depression Shack is now like a subway station. I'm curious. Don't fuck this up, go. Okay. Ha! I like that enter password in a sans serif font is written in a serif font. Just saying. That's what I thought would happen. I just wanted to, um... Or if we could, like, go down the subway tracks. That was one of those things where you weren't letting us... You weren't letting me get away with, like, any Chad bullshit right there. Like, they're not gonna waste all them bullets to shoot us, is where I thought, and you, I needed you to show me that I would die. Okay. That death's sort of an inside joke? Yes! Yes! I needed that. Yes! I needed that you will die, Death. I love that fucking bit. Yeah, and like, even as one of the more sensible people in that player group, I still need that. <laughs> There's no way they can afford all the bullets in those guns. Gas station, take flashlight. Oh shit, no, 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 you get back in there. I want to read that note. <coughs> Question Do I need to go down the center path and read that note in order to trigger being able to grab a candle somewhere? Or can I, like, just continue down the next path. Is 
there anything else I wanted to do in here? No. I want to go back outside. <laughs> cool. Thank you. I want that candle, I don't give a shit about the file. The file is a trap. As is the projector. I knew it! I knew it! I knew that shit. trap it's taking all my willpower not to like touch everything Yeah, that's death. Okay, that's the thing I need to find. Okay, so it's one, two, three, and this is the looping back. You can see this from one. Okay. I'm glad the audio works that time. All right, uh, again. <laughs> what is that creature's voice? What did you make that out of? I want the candle. You, there's fucking candles everywhere and you haven't let me pick one up yet. Alright, I guess we're going through that door. Whew. I love it. Open the door. I, this would have saved me a lot of questioning. Yeah, no, we're not gonna open. We're not gonna. That's fucking bait. Lock door with a crowbar next to it. All right, let's go to the left path. To the cottage. Entering the cottage, and we're gonna open the red door. Of course the meat's a trap. And the bullets. The 
metal pole is going to get me through. I just have to make it to the thing now, which I'm not going to do. How am I still alive? I set off two of them things. I don't know why I picked up the rotting meat. I figured it was the only safe thing in the room. And then I figured there can't be two bells in the room, which is why I touched the bullets. Because the metal pole being the missing piece of the crank for the, um, the drawbridge was not what I saw that being. They can't afford all the bullets for those guns. How you do jazz. hasn't set anything off yet. Okay, 
shovel I can touch. The Bible is a six deadly trap. so mad. I set off two bells. There's no way I make it back. <laughs> this is the one downside of having me play this is few people that have played your games more than I have. And I know the world this came from. I live in the world this came from. I live in the world this came from? I'm from here. This thing maps itself out in such a logical fashion that I know where I am. The only dead end I can think of is where I found the body. There's that candle back in the theater. That's where I need to go. I feel like I'm probably safe. I'm safe in the cave. Um, this one piece of I read 1Q84 earlier this year, and it does a lot of Murakami's, like, really douchey, like, pretentious nonsense, uh, and one of the things he does is quote Anton Chekhov for pages. Like, he just rips pages of this dude, one of this dude's driest pieces of work, and just, uh, puts it in the middle of his book just to kind of prove to the reader how smart he is. Um, but they go back and quote Chekhov with, um, this line, once a gun enters a story, it has to be fired. And, like, that that quote has stuck with me more than anything else in the 1100 pages of that fucking book. Because it's, like, so elegant in the way that it, like, kind of sums up functional storytelling. And... Well, first off, you can see the drawbridge from the cottage... And I don't, if I had seen that, I 
actually now I probably would have seen that there was one bridge. Or it, like it makes sense that it's like you're looping around to see the same graveyard, but also why would you put two graveyards in? You would have to do two things in two different graveyards. Like one gun. Squeeze through hole. Three paths. Subway station theater. Enter. Door. Light candle. Fuck. not sure where I should head next. I just lit both of the candles. I guess we gotta go back to the shoreline. <laughs> it's such a perfect, like, ominous bell sound. It's still locked. Wait, how- why the fuck is that door open now? Why did that door open? Oh, I was not paying attention close enough. I was just like, this is what it has to be, so I clicked it. Why is this door unlocked? 20 paces past the end of the path. Turn right, walk 40 paces to Obelisk. It is buried. door with red rune. The end of the path has to be where that body is. Excellent word. Excellent word.
Okay, this is... I just want to point out that this is fucked up, that this is like a back and forth bounce. Like, the candle in the fucking... Uh, gas station was just to push me back over there. To eat up potential, like, screen shifts, or, like, room changes that could have gotten me killed. And now I have to go all the way back to that hotel. Like, moving from area to area is stressful now because of how many bells I have set off. <laughs> Subway theater... Drawbridge... Motherfucker, you snapped me. You snapped, snapped me with that noise. <laughs> you managed to put a jump scare in a text adventure. <sighs> no. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to hear that. I really am. Because this is so much fun. I love that noise. Good still. I really hope any of the. Actually. I hope other people are watching this because this is fucking phenomenal, but. This is a two. This is a two person stream. More than, like, anything else we've done. I gotta read Kira's note, like, it's just a thing at this point. Thank you. Payphone, walk to the right. Shit, I didn't, like, I kind of just skimmed it. It was more of, like, a sit-down-in-a-rocking-chair, like, ambient thing. Like, in Skyward Sword, where, like, whenever there's a chair, you can just, like, sit down in the middle of the forest. And just that moment, just, like, 
calm. That was what I was invoking there, but I'm going to read that when I go back by. Lighter. Black door. Take a shovel. Read the note. Oh, that's the snowman I like. Uh, now that it's down. Fucking get it. I love that touch. Like, I didn't... The blood red flame. Like, I thought you were being poetic. You were literally describing the unlocking of that room. Last time I opened that, or last time I lit that, the purple door didn't open. Yeah, we gotta go to the corpse. We'll have to go back past the door, so we'll check it out again in a minute. I gotta read the words I shouldn't read. Hi, cat. I'm gonna drop my bitrate a little bit. Because it's just kind of waffling up and down. Oh, it's 12.20. That cat's probably hungry. I'm gonna feed her in just a moment. be behind the door with the purple rune if it was a trap. That said, the green rune door is totally going to have a fucking trap behind it because I said that now.
nope, 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 nope. It just kind of, you don't see it just enough that it kind of like slips out of the back of your head. I love this, by the way. Fucking Albion cello. It's Albion, right? that you kept on Tega. <laughs> this is kind of... There are so many references in this thing that I might be the only one to catch. I mean, obviously there are other people that know what Dominion Screams is, but like, how many people did you tell about on Tega? I'm savoring these details. Shout outs to me on the Dominion. I am I feel so special right now. This is like really fucking warm. I want that spyglass, but I'm not touching it. I can go back for it. I was going to go back to the main entrance and probably be stumped. I'm so glad that I came back over here. Well, I would have realized that you had to go in and do the... I would have eventually realized.
once I realized that those candles opened the doors, like, I had to go by the doors anyway, which, like, if somebody dies, like, it's easy, it, I see that it totally saves time being able to not have to backtrack to those doors, because you have to walk past them as you light those candles. Um, like, their placing and passing them is really well done. But the moment I saw that the candles were opening them, I knew, like, you gotta go in those rooms. That's like a Zelda puzzle. Like, I've been trained to go in rooms with color coded doors. Yeah, it's fully intended, and it's like. It's just like really well done pacing. sarcophagus so bad but I I feel like I shouldn't do that interesting you can re-trigger the first time you walk in there basically generator. gas in a tube so that I can um, siphon it back in and I can start the car. And I could probably take the car over there somehow. Put the 
generator in the car and take it over to the movie theater to play the 35 millimeter. Fuck did I just put gas in a truck that's on bricks? I filled the gas can, right. I picked up the gas can and my brain automatic like I read it, my brain auto filled that I had gas in the can and I just filled the tank, but I just put gas from the truck into the can. Okay. I read what I wanted to read there. Thank you. That was totally me just being an asshole. Also, I love that this just, like, shortcuts takes generator to theater.
somewhere in there is something telling me what to do next. That was such a thing, I'm not quite sure where to go. Glad to help you find them. Slash sorry.
I want that Bible, but I feel like I should take that Bible. I'm unsure of where to go at this point. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck me, I was right. Okay. That's my first one this run through. Happy to provide, I guess. It's delightful in in the way it's That fucking Bible. I, how is the dude in white fucking the little kid not a priest? How does that not tell me to pick up a Bible? Okay, we're back at the... Um the wall I had just hit.
love it. I love that you used the beach noises. I fucking love the Veil vale Realm coming back.
Jesus Christ, dude. Is that like new vulture culture or is everything in that directly relating to the content of She Cried? I should have expected something from you, but that was a fucking sneak strike. God damn. There are fucking 19 tracks on this. I just read that on the Vulture Culture Bandcamp page, that some of them are cut in this. God damn, dude, that was a whole thing. How different is um, the non-existence option? Even with everything I know about Six Deadly Logic and into Questa Logic, and there was like the Bible still got me. There can't be two in there can't be two bells in the same room. Still got me. Yeah, it was the Bible, it was the two bells run that I had no chance of winning. That fucking Bible, that that stung. I didn't realize that the I am merciless voice was her message. Which is why I kind of like spun out and that's when I went for the Bible. Like, you gave me the Chad death and I still had to learn the Chad lesson. No, I like it. I like, like, the moment it made sense. I was like, of course. I think that was my own personal prejudice, like, reading into it. Because when I expect... I was expecting something from, like, her tone of voice or, like clearly delineated from a she like i expected it to be a phone call i expected it to be with like the handwritten notes i expected it to be something from someone with a female name um but the film can being the message makes so much sense like she's reaching out and giving you that and like not even the dead can hide what happened no, I like that it's a little bit vague. I mean, it's not even that it's vague. It's just like it's obviously her message when you stop and think about it. But just in that moment, you're just kind of. And I think at that point in the game, like. I went into the subway because there was nowhere left to go. And that's when I saw that there were options. When I saw Merciless, I was like, oh, shit, that's on the reel. I think if you made it more obvious, when it all comes together, it wouldn't have the same impact. I kind of want to see the non-existence. <laughs> I could feel it when you walk out of that theater. There is such a sense of, like, this thing is basically done. Like, you know you're in that home stretch. That was amazing. I had the best time with that that was so cool that was a great game dude this was fantastic it's been a long time since i played dysnomia i expect like i knew it was going to be good i didn't expect it to blow dysnomia out of the water like so completely it is so apparent how much effort was put into this this was so good. I'm just, I'm kind of reeling at the moment from everything that just happened and like the way the mythology of that thing all kind of comes together at the end. And new vulture culture. This was so, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of like, is it weird if I buy your album right now? <laughs> <laughs>